What you guys got another video here for you on the best OBS settings for recording game footage or any sort of desktop recording that you want to do here. So step one would be to go to their website and download the software. So that's what we're going to do first off. So OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. It works with Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So download the correct version for your operating system and we can then get this installed on the computer. Now there's many different types of computers, some more powerful than others. And when you're installing and setting up OBS, this is where the problem is going to be for a lot of people. You may be running an older system and some of the settings we're using in here might not be suitable for your hardware. So you may need to tweak these slightly to suit your computer. But once you've got the base settings done, it should be pretty good. So let's get this installed and then we can start configuring it to get the best out of it for your computer so you can get the best recordings. So step two, once we open up OBS, what we're going to do is go file settings and then we're going to change the theme. Now by default, it's on dark mode here, which is pretty much suitable for a lot of people. I'm just going to change it for this video so you can see the buttons a little bit better. And I'm going to say change it to this mode here. I'll change it back to dark mode afterwards. But if you like this mode, you can leave it on. So click apply and OK, and then OBS will shut down and open up again. Step three, we need to set up a scene. So we need to create a scene. We're going to call it recording and click OK. We can now remove the old scene that was here because we're not going to be using it. So I'm just going to remove this from our uh, scenes area. Step four, we're going to set up our first source. So let's go ahead and click on the plus and create a source. What we're going to do is create a game capture. So click on this one. I'm going to leave it as is because that's what it is. Game capture. So click OK. And this will open up another box. Now inside here we have our modes. Now there's three types of modes. There is one saying capture any full screen application. The problem with this setting is if the capture that you're trying to do is not set to full screen, i.e. The gameplay, if you haven't got full screen uh, on the system and you've got it set up as window mode, it's not going to capture. Also, sometimes this mode doesn't work for some games. So next up, double click on it again and go to the next mode, which is capture specific window. So click on this one and on here, we will have another option which we can choose, which is the window below it. And this is where you're going to select what you want to capture. For instance, the game will be listed here. Click on the game and then it should populate like so once the game is open. So we've got the game open and you can see it's capturing the game. So that's how you can get this. Now, once this is closed, if you open a new game, you have to go into here and go to the window and select the different type of game that you want to capture because it will be set to Mafia or whatever game you've got selected. Now there is another one here called capture foregrammed window with hotkey. So some people like to use this one so you can click OK and then you need to go to settings and set up a hotkey for this. So over here you would go to hotkeys and then you'd go all the way down to the bottom where it says game capture. So look for game capture. It's here and you need to set up a hotkey to capture the game. So if you want to do, say, for instance, control shift R for record and control shift uh, S for stop, you can do this and you can set up whatever keys you like, F1, F2, depending on what keys you want to use. You want to make sure that you're not using keys that the game is going to be using. For instance, the F1 key, the F2 key, some games will use these. And if you're trying to select these on record and stop, then it can conflict with the game. So be very careful with that. Now, personally, I don't like this method. I prefer the capture specific window. That's the one I use. So I just wanted to show you all three of these so you understand what they are. Once you get this set, you can click OK and you can choose which one suits you. I personally use the capture specific window and change it whenever I play a game or whatever it is that I want to capture. So that's what I'm going to be using uh, in this video. So let me change that back to what I normally uh, use. Now, once we got this set the way we like it, like I said before, when you want to play another game, there should be a little window section on here 
and you can just use this little drop down here and change it to whatever you want to capture and it will basically display it on the screen here okay so let's move on to step five here and what i'm going to do is go to settings here and we're going to go to hotkey because i want to set up a hotkey for start recording and stop recording so you can see here start start recording and stop recording is listed here i can set up a hotkey here and call these whatever i like with what keys so whatever keys you want to use i'm going to use control shift and r for record and control shift and s for stop now also you've got your streaming keys which you can do here and these are just helping you so you don't have to alt tab out and start uh, with the obs open you can just push the button here like so and it will automatically start recording and then when i want to stop recording i just use the control shift and uh, s and that will stop the recording here okay so let's move on to the next one here which is going to be dealing with our audio so let's go to step six and move to audio so let's go settings here because we need to open up our settings pane so we can change the audio settings so go up here and from here we're going to come down to where it says audio now in the general area here you're going to see a sample rate and this is at up to 48 for me now for you it might be something different so you can always clarify this with your audio settings so open up your audio settings window on windows and you can find out what your hardware supports so for instance for your microphone and your headphones or speakers that you're using you need to make sure so open the settings up for sound go to more sound settings for legacy here so you can see it a lot easier and then look under the playback and the recording so first up we're going to look for the recording here look for your uh, headphones here for your microphone now, if you're using another microphone, you can use whatever one you're using here, and then you go to Properties. Then hit the Advanced tab, and it will tell you right here the default format is 48K. So we need to make sure that we got this set to this inside OBS. Normally, that is what it uses as default, so that's a normally a default setting. You can go for Playback as well, just to make sure you've got the right settings here. You want to get this right because that way you get the best audio quality for your settings here so let's go advanced here and we can check all these so they're all set to uh, 48 which is good so we can close off the sound settings here and we can leave the sample rate as is we don't need to change any of this stuff next up we're going to go down here for global audio devices and you can set this to how your pc is you're going to have a different list for your pc but i'm going to have it desktop audio speakers uh, the real tech audio yours might be different but this is what's going to capture all of your gameplay audio so that's what i'm going to set mine as so microphone i'm going to select the microphone that i'm using so if you've got headphones or you've got a, a nice microphone you can use that in the list here the the second audio device here might be your discord and if you've got this listed here you can unmute this audio and you need to make sure you set this up i'll make another video on that uh, so you understand how that works otherwise you're going to end up with people in your discord on your recordings and you don't want that so i'll set set this up on another video for you once you've got these set as you want what you can do is come down here just to make sure everything is okay these settings are all perfectly fine i'm going to leave these as they are and we'll leave this on a sample peak here so click ok and we can move on to step seven step seven what you want to do here is once you've got this all set there should be a settings here click settings and what we want to do next is go to output click on output and you'll see up the very top output mode is set to simple by default we're going to set this to advanced and this gives us a few more options which we can tweak so on here you should see a button saying audio click on this one and you should see track one track two track three track four and track five so track one is going to be set to 320 and the name of it will be our desktop audio this is our capture of our sound for our audio which is going to be our game audio so you can call it desktop audio next next up we need to go to track two and we're going to do 320 here and this will be our microphone so you can call it microphone or mic whatever you want to call it and that is now done so if you do have another audio source, which will be your Discord, you can set it up inside here as well as uh, track three. So step eight, we're going to go on to step eight here. And this is where we need to click on the little cog 
on the audio here. You might only see one here, but I'll expand this a little bit later on and you'll see it. So click on the cog here and go down to the advanced audio properties. Inside here, you should see the audio tracks that you've set. Now, the one we're interested in here is the microphone. We're going to put a tick in mono, and that's because we want it to come out of both speakers. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the audio coming out of just one speaker. Turn off all these tracks here. We don't need them all checkmarked, and we can select the tracks that we want. So we want to make sure we designate the desktop audio as track one, and then we can have the microphone as track two. And if you've got a third audio device, you can have that as track three. And we can go ahead and do that. Now, you can obviously call these whatever you like. Once that's done, we can close this off and we can move on to the next stage, which is step nine. So let's go on to this one. So step nine, we're going to go back into settings and then we're going to go over to uh, video. On the video, you're going to see the base uh, resolution. This is the re resolution of your monitor. So if you've got a 2K monitor, 4K monitor, this is where it's going to be set here. So mine is a 1920 by 1080, so I'm going to leave that as is. And the output is going to be what it's recording at, the resolution that we're going to be recording at. So I want to record at 1920 by 1080. And the downscale filter is set here. Now, if you're uploading these to YouTube, it is going to be compressed anyway. So you might as well try and do the highest sample rate as possible, which will be the one at the bottom. I think that's pronounced Langkos or something like that. So once you've got that set, this is going to give us the best sample rate possible, which is 36 samples. If it's too much for your system, you can always reduce this down to a lower uh, setting, for instance, by cubic or something like that. So next up, the FPS. Now, some PCs are not going to be able to manage 60, but if you can, then set it to 60. If you can't, then you need to lower this. Otherwise, you're going to end up with problems. But most PCs nowadays can handle 60 FPS. So final step is step 10. Let's go over to step 10 here and go to settings again. And we're just going to go back into settings and go to our output this time. So go settings and then go to output. And on there, we're going to go to the recording tab this time. And you should see it here set type standard. Leave that as is. And the destination where you want your files to be recorded, you can change this path if you wish. This is the area where we can make some changes. Now we've got quite a few settings inside here, but I'm going to set mine to MP4. You can set yours to whatever you like, but I'm going to set mine to MP4 for my system. And that's what I'm going to be running on this computer. And uh, I find that's the most uh, easiest and best way for me to set mine up. If you want to use FLV or one of those other options you can do, it's entirely up to you uh, which ones you use. Next, the encoder. So if you're running an AMD system, it won't have this uh, NVIDIA uh, on yours, but you can choose the NVIDIA uh, for uh, NVIDIA graphics card as long as your system can handle it if you've got a new computer. If you've got onboard graphics, it might be a little bit more difficult. Next up, the rate control. So we're going to be uh, using CBR here. Now, depending on what you want to set yours as, there's many different versions here which you can use, but I'm going to be using CBR for this one. And that stands for constant bit rate. And that's what we're going to set ours for. Now, the bit rate underneath here, you can set this up to uh, your needs. But this is going to be another uh, tricky one for different PCs. But I'm going to set this up at 12,000. So depending on what your PC is, uh, you can run this at different rates here. Try different ones to suit your needs. Don't go too high because you'll have issues uh, with it. Next, keyframe intervals. You can leave this as zero if you wish, uh, or you can set it to one or two, something like that. But try try these out for yourself. I'm going to leave mine as one, but you can leave it on zero. Quality, I'm going to go for uh, leave it as quality or max quality. We can try that out and see how that goes. And then profile, you can see it's set to high here, and you can have this set to main or high, either one, whichever your PC can handle. So let's go to main here and leave this on main. And that is pretty much it for the settings uh, for OBS to record gameplay. Now, again, you can tweak around with these encoder and the uh, rate control and things like that and the bit rate for your PC. If you're finding it struggling, you may need to lower some of these settings for your computer, especially if you're using onboard graphics. You might need to take that off of NVIDIA 
and put that on a different setting inside there to get better at recording. So I'm just going to expand this here so I get all of the audio tracks here so I can see them. And uh, this just a little drag this up here so we can uh, get these all showing on the screen here. And this will be easier to mute and uh, do whatever I need to do here. So I'm going to pull this down and then I can drag this top bit down here. So let me just grab this again so it's not out of sync. There we go. And now we've got that all set up there for the free audio tracks that I'll be using. One for Discord, one for recording my desktop and one for the microphone. I will change one of these to headphones uh, and rename it, but that should be it for this video. So if you like this type of content, maybe consider subscribing. And if you want to support me a bit further, you can always join my YouTube members group. It costs $4.99 a month and you can cancel any time you get some extra perks. I will also add your name on the end credits of each video, as you'll see these awesome people here that have joined my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.